uh, we have really resilient group and uh, you know we should it kind of show it pretty much every night you know like Welcome into Bruins Now. I'm Meredith Gorman here in the Netton studio. We've got a lot of good news to discuss today when it comes to the Bees. Boston continues to be the best team in the NHL. They added to their eight point lead over St. Louis with their OT win over the Panthers Thursday night. That's four straight wins for the black and gold and the team's getting closer and closer to snagging their third president's trophy. Now let's take a look at what went down in Florida. A milestone for Patrice Bergeron, his goal against the Panthers allowed him to notch his sixth 30 goal season of his career. Yaroslav Halak made the save of the night, shutting down Alexander Barkov's breakaway to keep the game going and allowing Tori Krug to net the game winner in overtime. Oh, and you can't forget Nick Ritchie dropping his gloves for his first time as a Bruin. The 2-1 win over the Panthers extended the Bees' conference lead by nine points with just 14 regular season games left. The Bees took another step towards securing the Atlantic Division with their win in Tampa on Tuesday night. And they'll have another chance to do so on Saturday when the Lightning come to town. I think the number one thing was compete level, to be honest. And uh, Our guys came out and we, we put the puck you know, in a spot that... Um, a lot of us get in on the four check and we, we didn't mess around with it. So our pace was high in the first and I think it set the tone for the rest of the game. Guys stepped up in a big way down in Tampa. Marshy battling through food poisoning the morning of the game, continuing his 10 game point streak with his goal against Tampa. Talk about being tough. Oh, and he made that streak 11 against the Panthers with his assist on Bergeron's goal. Jake DeBrusque also finally got in his groove, scoring his first goal in 11 games, a game winner on a breakaway halfway through the second to give the Bees the eventual victory over the Lightning. And he was quite relieved to break his three-week spell without a goal. Uh, yeah, I mean, any time that uh, it goes in the net, it's always a nice feeling. You know, I haven't seen uh, that in a while, so it was always nice, uh, you know, kind of just the play overall. You know, that's kind of what I want to be, you know, use my... Uh, speed and effort and um, you know it was just nice to contribute that time of the game against this team. On the other end of the spectrum it seems like every time David Pasternak touches the puck he scores. The 23 year old's reign of leading the league in goals continues with his 47th against the Islanders. He also leads the league in game winning goals and he was named the NHL's Eastern Conference third star of the month with his 19 points in February, 10 goals and 9 assists. And Pasta's success has caught the attention of his veteran teammates. Would you say Pasta's the best pure goal scorer you played with? Yeah, probably. I mean, yes. You know, uh, um, you know, I don't want to take a, anything away from from anyone, but uh, um, it's the first time I'm playing with uh, um, a 40 goal scorer. Uh, never mind uh, um, more more than that. So uh, yeah, he's been uh, it's been amazing, especially at you know, at such a young age that it, he's been able to to improve and play that way, but also uh, um, becoming a, a superstar in this league and, um, and for years to come too. Yeah. A funny tweet from Tori Krug picked up steam on Twitter this week. Krug tweeting out a photo of him in net for the Bees and joking, hey Tuka Rask, hold my beer. Former Bruin Johnny Boychuk took a skate to the face in a scary incident on Tuesday during the Islanders game against Montreal. Canadians winger Arturi Lekanen skate sliced Boychuk's face after he tripped and fell to the ice. The Islanders defenseman needed 90 stitches to patch up the area around his eyelid and nose, but luckily he avoided any damage to his eye. He tweeted out a message afterwards thanking fans for their positive messages. Well, that'll do it for the show. Thanks again for tuning in.